I am Rohit PVR, a second year MBBS student, and I really love Anki. In this video, we'll be seeing about the common mistakes people make while making their flashcards. One very important thing is that you should never copy paste the questions directly. You should always like read the topic first and then understand the concept and create the question in your own words. You might be tempted to literally just copy and paste it in the Anki card, but just don't do it. It is a big mistake. Point number two is not being consistent. This is one humongous mistake that I did. I didn't do Anki cards for like probably one month, one and a half month. And now I'm stuck with 3000 cards. In the last video, I was stuck with 4000 cards. Yeah, clap for me because I completed 1000 cards successfully in the last 10 days. So probably by mathematics, it'll take me another one month easily to complete the other 3000 cards. This is really hard. Point number three is not syncing the decks properly. If you're using multiple devices, because losing all your cards is the last thing you would ever want in Anki, please make sure that you are syncing the decks properly. For example, here in my iPad, there is this synchronize option in the bottom right. But however, if you're using computer, the computer Anki will sync on its own every single time. So that's good for you. But just in case you're using Anki mobile or on iPad or iOS or whatever, just make sure you click the sync button every time or at least once a week. I probably do once a week. So, so that no data gets lost at any time. This is extremely important because there is every chance that you are going to lose every card you have made. Point number four is not organizing the cards properly. For example, if you are just randomly pumping out cards, that's simply if you are just randomly making cards without ordering anything, you will never feel like doing the cards in the future, right? So for example, in my case, I have neatly arranged the cards as first day MBBS, second day MBBS and also in second day MBBS, I have Microbiology, Pathology, Pharmacology and inside Pharmacology, I have ANS, Autocard, CBS, General Pharma, GIT, I have every classification. So this just makes your life easier and friction is the strongest thing in this world. Try as much as you can to reduce the friction so that you get the work done. And also guys, uh, do like this video because it will help spread this video to most people who need this. Point number five is making really complex questions. Just make the questions really simple and specific. It should be on point. In my previous video, I have talked about one concept or cards. You can check the video here. Point number six is rote memorization of cards. You will definitely feel tempted to just memorize everything on Anki because it is completely possible. That is the power of active record and space repetition. You don't have to do any work. Just simply do Anki the whole time and everything will end up deep in your brain. But the problem is you won't end up having a good concept. So what I do always is that if this is something related to the concept, even if I know the answer, I won't just skip the question. I'll wait on the question and I'll think of the concept for at least 10 seconds, minimum 10 seconds. And only then will I move on to the questions because I've realized this. You feel like you know the concept, but only when you think you won't really know the concept. So don't make the mistake that I've been doing for quite some time. Point number seven is random facts. In various pre-made decks, most of them will be like random facts. You, do, you won't know the source of the information. Unless you have studied the complete topic, it is almost like random facts. So this is one main reason why I am kind of against pre-made decks. Some pre-made decks are really good, but you should be knowing how to properly use them. I usually make my own cards because making your own cards again is a way of active recall. So I feel like that is also a good way. However, if you're using pre-made decks, please make sure you're not memorizing anything. Try to associate and understand. Point number eight is don't associate an answer with a particular diagram. For example, in some picture based questions, I'll have the picture there and then the question will be asking about something. Most of the times what I will end up doing is that the moment I see the picture, I know that this is the answer. I am usually tempted to go to the next thing. So what I always do is that I make sure that the image is a little below so that I'm not able to see at the same time so that it will make me think about the question first and then move on. Point number nine is vague answers. Just never ever make vague answers. Just never do it. A question might have multiple answers. So you should make the question really specific. And also as your knowledge grows, your concept also grows and the answers might also change. This will definitely happen when you are studying pharmacology. Like at that moment, you know that this is the drug you should use. But then when you go to the next chapter, you will know that, okay, that drug is not good. We should stick with this drug only. And then go to the next chapter and then you will realize, okay, oh, that drug is also not good. Then what should I do? So this is how life will be now. So to prevent that, make really specific questions, on point direct questions, direct like questions. Point number 10 is 
don't ever click easy don't ever click easy just click good the whole time if you simply don't know the answer click again if you got the answer right but you are a little doubtful and suspectful of yourself click hard and if you got the answer right click good forget that there is this feature called easy it is built to ruin your day basically so that's it for today and if you found this video useful hit that subscribe button because it will motivate me to make more such videos and as always thank you for watching see you soon